2011 is the year of the tablet and it's really interesting to finally see tablet offerings from all kinds of companies. Uh, ViewSonic have uh, brought to market two devices, uh, the ViewPad 10 and its smaller brother, the ViewPad 7. It's, it's straightforward to use, it's got the kind of functionality they want, it's got a really good 3 megapixel camera on it. Um, and I do think that Android 2.2 is a highly evolved operating system. They've really got there now. Of all the Android experiences I've had, 2.2 really does deliver in the way that the operating system on the iPad and iPhone 4 also delivers. What's interesting about these two machines is, is that really you'd think that this would be the powerful version of that. This would do all that that does, except it would do it more quickly and with more panache. And actually, it's not the case. Um, it's relatively fluid. Uh, but it's only 1.6 Android, and that's a, that's, a, that's a problem. It's a problem, it's a limited operating system that you get. However, they've tried um, to do something quite unique with this device and offer another operating system, it's dual boot. You, you can uh, open it in Windows 7 Home Premium. Um, now, that's great if you're a business person and you wanna plug in via USB, a mouse and a keyboard and use it as a, an inexpensive and flexible laptop, which I think is a really cool idea, but it's not, it's not great in Windows 7 mode when it comes to uh, its tablet functionality. For example, some of the hot buttons here that um, um, Android utilizes aren't used, to my knowledge, in Windows 7. Um, and also, Windows 7 is just slow. Uh, Android 1.6, though, does fly on this. It's not particularly expensive, although it's not that cheap either, but it does look great. The asymmetry, the mixing of the, of the metallic uh, and the plastic is nice, it's a good weight if you want to read ebooks and comics and stuff. It's got a lot going for it, but it doesn't quite tick enough boxes to truly challenge the iPad or say the Ga Samsung Galaxy Tab. This, however, does. It's got the phone functionality that the ViewPad 10 doesn't have. Um, it's also really small. It's thin, it's lightweight. It's a great multimedia device. It, it offers you movies and games and apps and phone functionality and data and online stuff in something that you can literally fit in your jeans pocket. Just try that. Yeah, that's working. It's in my jeans pocket. You can do that, okay? Um, and you can certainly fit it in your handbag or your man bag. And those are, are really important features uh, nowadays with, with portable technology. Two really interesting devices that herald an exciting future for tablets in 2011.